Yep, this is it. This is how my villain origin story starts. So a few minutes ago at the time of recording, Bethesda has announced that Starfield will be getting delayed until the first half of 2023. Oh my no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 So at 1pm GMT, Bethesda put out this tweet. We've made the decision to delay the launches of Redfall and Starfield to the first half of 2023. The teams at Arcane Austin, Redfall and Bethesda Game Studios Starfield have incredible ambitions for their games and we want to ensure that you receive the best, most polished versions of them. We want to thank everyone for their excitement for Redfall and Starfield. That energy is a huge part of what inspires us every day and drives our own excitement for what we are creating. We can't wait to share our first deep dive into the gameplay for both Redfall and Starfield soon. Thank you all for your support. Well, I definitely didn't see this coming, especially after Todd said the release date was written in stone, but whatever, it's happened, so let's talk about it. Obviously, we don't now have an official release date for Starfield, which sucks, it's like we're back in 2017 again. We won't be playing Starfield for probably another 9-ish months if I had to guess, which sucks, but let's look at the positive side of things. With Starfield delayed, it just means that we'll be getting a more polished game. I for one don't want to go through another Fallout 76 release, so in a way, I am happy about this. I think after Fallout 76, Professor just kind of realised that that shit isn't going to fly anymore, so they're aiming to make Starfield the best it can possibly be. Obviously the game is still going to release with bugs, every game does, it's expected at this point. I can only hope that it won't be completely riddled with bugs. I think we'll see Starfield showcase at the Bethesda and Xbox event next month still, which is great. I think this is where we are going to find out a new release date for Starfield. The only reason that I believe we're still going to see Starfield at this event is because if we wasn't, I feel like they would have mentioned it in the picture that they tweeted out. If I had to guess, I'd say the game will release around March, but honestly that's just me being hopeful. <laughs> it could be longer, I honestly, I don't even want to think about it because it genuinely upsets me. <laughs> This really does suck, but if this is what Bethesda need to do, then I get it and I support them. I'm just excited to play the game whenever it does drop. I mean, look, if Starfield is anywhere near as big as we all think it is, then it's understandable that this is going to take a while. Bethesda had to get used to their new engine. If the game has multiple maps like we all think for each planet, it's going to be bigger than any previous Bethesda game on that aspect alone. If there is manual space flight, that's a completely new thing Bethesda has to work with. I mean, the closest we've had to any kind of vehicle in a Bethesda game was fucking horses in Skyrim. Anyway, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to make a very, very quick video to update you all. Despite the sad news, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please do give it a like to help spread the news across and to help out the channel. If you are new around here and you want to stay up to date on Starfield, Fallout, Elder Scrolls and other video game content, be sure to subscribe. Also, we're hoping to hit 600 subscribers here soon, so your support would really mean the world. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.